Hey guys, it's Vax here, and this is a huge shout out to uh, Kino Stewart, who gifted me the Cyclops bandana and the M14 SE for 30 days, and I'm going to review both of them, obviously. So that is awesome. Also, um, because you haven't seen the SG-556 or the M24A3 Woodland review since I couldn't upload those videos, I will be remaking the SG-556 review. Uh, not right away, but I will be remaking it, since I have the gun here. And possibly the M24, at least the M24A3, I don't know about the Woodland. The Woodland was awesome, but yeah. So uh, I'll get to these guns, the SG-556, the MP5 mod, the M4A1 Desert Warrior, the M416 CQB, the SCAR-L, and the G36 N-Case. Alright guys, it's Vax here, and I've got a really nice review for you guys today. Um, it's on a really special rare gun that you will probably never hold yourself unless you start buying assault rifle supply cases, GP supply cases, and as you can see, it's the M417. Um, I have 199 Keanu, who's going to be killing himself for me, since I don't have the gun myself. He has it. And also, if you guys didn't recognize, please die, please die. Okay, thank you. If you guys didn't notice already, Keanu, 199 Keanu is the guy who also gifted me the 30-day Cyclops bandana and the 30-day M14 SE, which is freaking awesome, which I will also be reviewing sometime. Um, so yeah, I've been playing really bad today, and this is actually like the third game I've been videotaping this gun, and the reason for that is because of lag most of the time, and I was honestly getting like M16 headshotted, like bullshit lotto shots, like ex just ex being extremely un unlucky all in a row, so now I'm doing pretty good. Hopefully I don't get kicked for hacking, because I'm doing pretty good now, and I'm wouldn't be very nice. So this gun is like a strong four hit kill. It owns. Um, it's extremely loud, which I don't really care about because it sounds awesome. Um, anyway, so I'll get to uh, stating more of the stats now. The power is a four hit kill, a strong four hit kill. The accuracy is actually very good. It's I I don't even know the stats on the guns. I don't own it myself but I'm pretty sure it's more accurate than the M416 and it does more damage and it's pretty much got the same recoil I, I honestly can't even really tell if it's got more recoil or not I just I don't really feel the difference but I'm pretty sure it is a little bit more because if it wasn't then what's the point of making this gun please die thank you Um. It's got really nice spread for close quarters combat too, which is awesome. Um, it's pretty good for going full auto too, at close quarters combat. There's some guns where you want to go, uh, where you want to just click for close quarters combat, like the G36 sometimes, but this gun is good to just scope and go full auto. Well, he died anyway, took out my G18. Oh, he's got a refill for me. Nice. I only had 20 bullets left. Look at that. What a perfect candidate for uh, giving me that gun. Too bad I died right away. So yeah, I'm doing pretty good right now. 14 and 2, which is much, much better than what I was doing before. I did a 3.0 before and like a 2.1. I did very, very horrendous. Um, it's pretty heavy. The portability is pretty heavy. It feels like a Scar H, weight-wise, portability-wise. Is that a... Wow. That guy's a freaking retard. He had me. Um, so yeah, anyway, I like this gun. Um, I actually can feel the weight. It is pretty heavy. I can, I can feel the weight from walking compared to other assault rifles. It's pretty heavy, just like the Scar H. But that's okay. It's not that bad. It works really well. Um, it's a good gun. It's extremely rare. You have a very small chance of getting it out of the assault rifle case, which is awesome because that makes this gun that much more desirable. Um, I pretty much commented on everything except for fire rate. 
Um, the fire rate, if you've been noticing while I'm while I'm shooting, is pretty fast. It's actually very fast. It's probably the same as the M416, or maybe a tiny bit slower, but if anything, it wouldn't be faster. Oh yeah, this gun's nice. I wish I had it. <laughs> I hear walking around me. Oh, there's X Harry X. Skipped in me a couple of guns. Oh, don't die. Oh god, dang it, I died. Well, at least I'm 5.0, so that's pretty good. Where's Keanu? I've had some very terrible leg spikes recently too. Like all day today. There's Keanu right there. Need to get to him. Or did he kill himself already? What gun is this? Oh! Cool. It's an M417 with full bullets, except it doesn't have an extended clip in it, because it's not... Because it's not Keanu's, it's some other guy's. He was asking me if I was using his gun earlier, and I said no. No! Lotto shot M16 right to the freaking crane. What did I say? I meant to say cranium, by the way, not crane. Where's Keanu? There he is. Give me your guns. Yeah, there's not much else to say about this gun. Talk about both portability, it's heavy. I talked about the spread. It's actually really good, and I think it's better than the M16. Which is ironic, since this gun has a bigger caliber, but whatever. The recoil is awesome, too. I don't know if I talked about recoil, actually. If I didn't, the recoil is extremely low. Which is awesome. This gun... I actually wouldn't call this gun OP. And for people who don't know, OP is overpowered. I don't know if I'd call this gun overpowered. It's really good, but it's really not that much better than an M16. So, um, it really isn't that much better than it. But it's just, it's pretty cool to have. I was hoping, um, if they ever did come out with the M417, because I know a lot of people talk about it on the forums, and I bet you a lot of people are like, just going crazy that this came out. It would have been nice if it came out with a, a sniper scope or something. Because it is a battle rifle, I mean. And an iTech scope, really? That's okay. You know, I'm not going to complain. Um, I probably won't ever get to use this gun again. Which kind of sucks, unless I pick it up from someone. But I will never actually possess it myself since I don't buy assault rifle cases. Unless Nexon comes out with... Uh, with it for the black market, which I can almost guarantee you they will, because they do that every time. Aiming fail. Oh, I didn't talk about the reload. I don't usually talk about reload on any of the guns, but I wanted to make a special comment on this gun's reload. It's actually really fast. It's got an extended clip in it, and it still reloads fast, so that's really awesome, actually. Super. I really want to give special thanks to 199 Keanu, by the way, for gifting me the M14 SC, a Cyclops bandana, and letting me review this gun like a thousand times. This is like the fourth time I've reviewed the gun because I wasn't satisfied with the other games and he's killed himself every time, so he's a trooper. And I don't usually... I, I almost never do that. I think there's a couple other videos I might have done maybe twice because I wasn't happy with the first game I played with it, but... I've never redone so many guns ever. <clears throat> I've never done more than this one. And it's funny, because he uh, has to kill himself every time. I think I'm going to pick up that M24A3, actually. Since you guys actually haven't even seen this gun in action yet, and I've played several games with it. Come on, just want to kill you. Where'd you go? I'm going to quick scope you, probably. Oh. Leg spike, and I think he went into the house. Pro no scope, right in the face. Oh, he tanked that. Or at least the gun didn't do 100 damage. Did he go in the house? Oh, yeah. 
This gun's awesome. You guys never got to see the review, but I reviewed it pretty good. Like, I did well in my games. And this is probably my favorite sniper rifle in the game. Which I know it will be. And he, I'm pretty sure Keanu just killed himself for no reason, because there's only one kill left in the game. And I'll get it with my burst pistol. <laughs> anyway. Oh, look. Your G18 expired.